Next is our 2015 American Athletic Conference Coach of the Year. Chosen by his peers, our 2015 award winner engineered a remarkable turnaround for his program, who finished the year 22 and nine overall, 13 and five in conference play, just a year removed from a season that was not up to the usual standards. I'm not even gonna read the record here because there's no need going back over past history. Uh, in 2014-15, his team posted a signature win against then number 10 Kansas and surpassed the 20 win mark for the seventh time in nine seasons. Our 2015 Coach of the Year is entering this tournament with 499 career wins on a ledger that includes 13 conference championships. Please help me congratulate the head coach of the Temple Owls and our well-deserving winner of the 2015 American Coach of the Year, Coach Fran Dunphy. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it very much. I'm sort of humbled to be here, uh, a bit embarrassed, to be honest with you. Uh, when we filled our ballots out, uh, we had a couple of people certainly ahead of where we were. Uh, the SMU program, they won the league championship, and I think that uh, that says a lot about that coaching staff. Uh, the Tulsa group came in second, a very close second. And I think what Frank Haith and his staff did uh, to bring his program along all year long was spectacular. And then what Mick Cronin's staff, uh, led by Larry Davis, did for Cincinnati was remarkable. That season that they had was remarkable because of all the things that they had going on uh, before the season started, a really very much a new group. And so for us as a staff, and I mean that sincerely, this is really a programmatic award and certainly appreciate it, but my staff did a wonderful job and actually the players obviously do all the heavy lifting and, and do what they do to make our, our season successful. So again, very humbled uh, and a bit embarrassed to stand before you with this. Uh, let me just tell a quick story if I can and, uh, about a real coach of the year. And the reality was as we went into our 10 opponents arenas and they came back to us. I think I coached against 10 coaches of the year all year long. Um, and so uh, I'm grateful for that. But a, a couple of years ago, I, I was speaking at a clinic in New York and I had given out my email address to all of the people that all the high school coaches that were there. And I said, if you ever get to Philly, please let me know and come to practice or whatever. And I was given an inane lecture about the high screen and roll or whatever and some guy asked me a question and I subsequently left and was on my way back to Philly and I got an email from this young man uh, by the name of Will Smith from the Berkshire School in Western Massachusetts. He's the girls coach there and it said I'm, I'm in Philly every other week for my chemo treatments. Can I come by and come to your practice? So all of the work that we do in Coaches versus Cancer in Philly, I right away I'm sensitive to it and I get a little bit weepy when somebody tells me this story and says I'm in Philly. So he comes to my practice the next Friday and over his shoulder he's got a, a bag over his shoulder with chemo going to a port in his arm. And I'm getting weepy just thinking about it and I'm saying, you know, you, you get to Philly, uh, how, how often he comes? He said, every other weekend I come and I drive the four and a half hours and I said, that's unbelievable what you do. I said, where do you stay? He said, well, I stay at the whatever the hotel is and so what do you pay? He said, well, I pay like 65 bucks a night. And I said, listen, you got to do this for me. You need to let me help you get into what's called the Hope Lodge in Philly. It's actually Temple University's Fox Chase Hope Lodge right now. And we can help you. The Coaches versus Cancer has given a lot of money to this program and you can stay there. You stay there for free. They'll take it back and forth. They'll feed you they will emotionally. The support will be great. I said, you, don't even do it for you, do it for me. Make me feel good that I can help you do this. And I said, we can save you the money. And he's probably not making a whole lot of money doing a coaching, teaching thing that he was doing. And so he said, I'll get back to you in a couple of days. And then two days later, I get an email back from Will Smith and the story goes, uh, I really appreciate you thinking about me, coach. I really, uh, I'm, I'm honored by your, your thoughts. And, he said, my only concern is that I'll be taking up a room from somebody else who can't afford it as much as I. And I, I got back to him, called him as soon as I could, and I said, who are you people? 
how, who, how do you get this selfless, this courageous, this tough, and only think about other people? I, I don't understand. Well, as it turned out, he then be went into remission, and he we, had, we would talk once a month and exchange a lot of voicemails and emails and text messages and those kinds of things. And then the cancer came back, and it came back with a vengeance. And I got a chance to be with him uh, the, the morning before we left for the, the SMU Tulsa trip, which is a tough trip for us, uh, two great, great teams and two great, great programs. And when I got back, he had passed away. And that, to me, that's coaches of the year. Those kinds of people who take care of their, their constituents, their students, their team, and they never, ever ask about themselves. Nothing did he ever ask for himself. And so to me, it's a heroic guy, Will Smith. And I, I couldn't accept this award, certainly on behalf of our staff and our university and our players, without talking a little bit about somebody who meant so much to me, inspired me uh, as a human being. Bas what we do is awesome. Nobody should be as lucky as we are as college basketball coaches, no one. It's for me to meet Will Smith, that topped off my college basketball career uh, more than you'll ever know. So thank you for listening to that, and I congratulate Daniel and, uh, and the, these guys here. Uh, Steve, is that your first name again? Pat, sorry, Pat, I apologize. And Nick, I'm going to give it away, Nick. The lieutenant governor would, but I'm giving it away. And and because uh, you're a great player and you've got a great team, and the, and I admire everything that you guys do. So thanks very much.